Lucy, great to see you down at the uh, London Triathlon Show. Hi. Um, it's probably about a year since we last spoke. Exactly. Looking very well, so it's good to see you down here. Thank you. Uh, we're down on the CP stand, uh, they're a new sponsor for you this year, they're getting involved. Yeah. That's quite exciting. Um, I want to try and catch up about last year. I mean, I haven't, I literally haven't seen you for a year. So uh, I don't know if you could just talk through a little bit of 2014 for us. Um, yeah, mixed year really. First year as full-time pro. Um, learned a lot, made a lot of mistakes. Um, had a had a really great start. Couldn't have gone better. Um, second at South Africa, one lambda off two. Um, brilliant, you know, over the moon. And then the middle was was okay. It was pretty solid and. and yeah, unfortunately I got a bit injured and probably um, probably partly from doing a bit too much looking back. Um, so Kona was, yeah, Kona was a write-off, which is pretty gutting. But um, I'm back and I've survived and hopefully I'll be back stronger this year. And do you think some of that, obviously, it was your first year as a pro, I mean, you obviously had a, a bit more time on your hands. You were very busy before when you were training and working. Do you think that affected that you were actually training all the time, a bit too much? Um, Probably, and, and maybe thinking a bit too much about things. I think I've realised that for me, triathlon on its own is, is, is not just enough, and I, I need to do something else that is very selfish being a pro, it's all about what, what you're doing, and it's not like I'm a really nice person, but I just, I need something else, and whether that's just something tiny, like, you know, riding with a tri club, or, or just doing something else in my week, um, and I think, now I've realised that and I've admitted that, and hopefully I'll have a little bit more balance and um, yeah, stop me getting too stressed and, and stuff about things. <laughs> and, uh, if we could talk about the Kona experience, obviously it's been quite a few months now. What's your thoughts on it a few months on? Um, I'm, I'm really proud with how I dealt with it. Um, yeah, I was, I was devastated. Um, I think running into it, I, I knew deep down the Achilles might cause problems, but I'd, I'd worked so hard on trying to be positive and my positive psychology that actually I'd convinced myself it, it wouldn't. And, and even looking back, I was, you know, I was walking the end of my runs and telling myself it was just to cool down, but it wasn't it was because because I couldn't keep running. But um, yeah, I'm proud of how I dealt with it. Um, you know, the winter's not been great. I've lost my main sponsor as well, but. Um, I think you learn more about yourself from the tough times. So um, I've got through it, and I'm, I'm definitely back fighting for 2015. I'm going to say that there is there is fight. You do want to go back and take Kona on? Oh, 100 percent. Because it's and it's going to be hard to get there. I'm not pretending it's going to be easy with no points in there. But um, yeah, at the moment it's beating me, and I I think I can do a good race there one day. Um, and so yeah, I'm pretty determined to to go back. And looking back, when I've had bad races before, I've always myself but I'm better than a bad race so hopefully I can do it again. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot more uh, Ironman races coming up into the calendar. Uh, have you planned your year this year? Can you share that with us? Um, yeah, I'm doing South Africa and I've got a dream of winning Ironman UK again so um, that would be, yeah, that would be good if I could do that. Brilliant. Well, it's great to see you. We wish you all the best for the year and we look forward to seeing how you get on. Thanks very much. <laughs> Thanks, Paul.